Jones has a small farm. He wants a really quick magician. I expect you to do all I ask. Explain the magician. You will know, I'll teach you a little magic, but only a one sort of person. Boy, works may hard I for stay. He pushed the magician's boots and then he scrapped her purse and pants. He washed the magician's socks. And he also went to the market by a surprise. Meanwhile, the magician was very busy helping people with her magic. She made the roof, called the sick chicken, and made a spell to rescue a cow from the ditch. You've done a good job, said the magician when she came her home and put her wand away. We are making a magician of you yet. The next day, the boy could not wait to get to work. He wanted to show that he was training a hard worker and trusting worthy enough to become a magician too. The magician was just on her way out. There's a flood in your next village, he explained. I have to go and make sure everyone is sick. Can you clean the house by the way? There's a mop in your bucket and say, do a, do a good job. It'll take a whole day. As soon as she left, as soon as she left, the boy fetched the mop and bucket for his set. He the bucket for the wall and started to swap. It was hard work. And soon the boy began to feel tired. I'll never finish this, he thought. She will return to find her son. Dear Miss, she may never teach me magic. She may even throw me out. All of a sudden, an idea struck the boy. He went to the magician's cupboard and opened the door. He took a deep breath and reached for the wand. It was heavy, but it felt good in his hand. He whipped out a mug and bucket. Please mark the kitchen floor and shut it, the boy, before his may eyes. The mob picks himself up and jumps into the bucket. He jumped into the bucket. He gave, uh, he gave a quick swing and set a bus swap in the kitchen for until he was quite sparking. The boy was delighted in his quivers. Now, please clean the stairs! He commanded. The bucket jumped up and fell inside and he filled himself. If a queen were to find well, the mop put it in the bucket and began to clean the stairs. The boy rubbed his hands with glee. Ah, this, this fish did no dying, he thought. The magician will be so pleased with me. Before noon, the stairs were gleaming. You can stop for a while. The boy said to the mop in the bucket, but the mop in the bucket came down. The boy claps his hand. To switch. He looked down, hand of white, and start and began, as they began to, to turn into lots of little moves. Oh no, the boy is fixed. What have I done? He moved as the little moves began to, began to spin faster and faster, splashing water everywhere. The, the stairs began a waterfall, and the kitchen leaked. Every time the boys shouted the mobs to stop, they sprang even faster. Another boy shouted, the mob fainted, the mobs became. They now pictures on the wall, turned tables and chairs upside down, and smashed all the bars and windows. The poor boy, the poor boy didn't know what to do. 
is startled by water and stood helpless in the middle of the kitchen and howled. I wish the magician was here. He wailed. I don't know this anymore. All of a sudden, everything fell silent. The boy looks up to see the magician in the doorway. Mops and Bucket, stop your tricks! He shouted. Back to where he went on. Then she turned to her boy. Come on, she said. She said more gently. You better help me clear up. You meant well, said the magician when the house was tidy and dry again. I know you were trying to impress me, but you should use magic for everything. And remember, never ever stop magic again unless you're sure you can stop.